World Notes 11 of 100. Thank you so much for watching Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. And after this video is over, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool looking coin from the Philippines. And please like and share that video. That video currently has over 770 likes. Please help get that video to over 1,000 likes. So not too long ago, I purchased a lot of these world notes. And in the lot, it was 100 notes from various parts of the world. And uh, all these notes have one thing in common. They are uncirculated. So I'm handling these very carefully. And after I film each and every one of these notes, I put them away, keep them secure. And I just handle them with gloves and just handle them around the corners. And I'm sure to not bend them or, you know, uh, crease them in any way. I want to keep these perfectly clean, flat, crisp, fresh, and beautiful, no matter how old they get. So, uh, anyway, if you ever want to check out the other World Notes, um, just by looking at the title of this video, it is called World Notes 11 of 100. If you want to see the other ones, just simply go to YouTube on the search bar and type in World Notes, for example, 10 of 100. Or you can type in World Notes 9 of 100, you know, World Notes 8 of 100 and so on all the way back to the beginning so the goal here is this is number 11 in hopefully what will be a series of 100 videos that uh, showcases each and every one of these notes individually just like you see on your screen now and I do not know where this is from so feel free in the comment section if you know where this is from or if you even think you know where this is from but are not 100% sure even if you're not 100% positive, you can just put in the comments where you think this is from. But just look at that beautiful design. You know, I don't know what uh, is the front of the bill or the back of the bill. I don't know if this is the obverse of the note or the reverse of the note. But just look at all those colors and patterns there. Look at that beautiful writing. Obviously not in the English language. And um, we see 500 there. 500, I'm not sure what, but 500 of some type of uh, currency. So look at that design there. Look at all the details. You can tell there is no expense spared in the artwork of this note. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So complex and beautiful. Oh, that is wonderful. 500. There we go. And look at that building. Absolutely wonderful. It's just wonderful to see this just so flat and crisp. Some, some of the notes in this 100 uh, bill lot, you know, the lot of 100 notes here, um, some of them date back kind of far where if they were in regular circulation, they would have really been worn down or at least dirty by now and folded and creased and bent. But uh, these just look so amazing that, you know, I don't even think the video really does this full justice. You know, it's uh, amazing to see this in person, just how vibrant it is and the details, which are actually so fine that they may not show up 100% on camera. Um, you know, if you're to see them in person, you'd probably see even more details on them. But still, even through the lens of the camera, these do look very lovely. So this is a look here at one side. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other side of the note. As I flip this over, this design just looks so beautiful to me that this pretty much took my breath away. Just look at that, how the design just covers the entire note, whether it be the back of the note or the front of the note. I think this might be the back of the note, but I could be, again, mistaken. Look at that. Look at the colors, design there. Look at that. So amazing. I just love how artistic currency can be from various parts of the world. It really makes it fun to collect notes from all over the world. Look at those details. It looks like the camera is capturing a lot of it. But, uh, you know, I can see this, uh, I'm filming this with one of my phones, one of the uh, 
you know, camera phones here that I have, and so I can actually look at the screen and see what you're seeing right now. But then I look past the screen, and beside it, I'm able to move my head and, and look over and actually see the note without the uh, camera obstructing the view. I can take a look and I can just see even more detail that shows up on the screen. It's absolutely amazing. Just look at that. That is so nice. Look at that. Looks like some trees and maybe some water in the background. Clouds and then of course water, some type of a bridge there. Yeah, it looks like a suspension bridge. And then in 500 there again. 500 there. Some writing there in a different language other than English. Otherwise, I'd read it to you if it was in English, because that's the language that I speak and read and write. So look at that. Oh, that is so wonderful. And I uh, just wanted to thank everyone for watching. If you would, please uh, like and subscribe. And always love seeing your comments. And uh, after this video is over, again, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool looking coin from the Philippines. Again, that video has over 770 likes. Please help get that video to over 1,000 likes. That'll be a great milestone for that video. And I believe you'll really enjoy that video as well as it shows a high quality close up of a beautiful coin from the Philippines. It actually came from another YouTuber, which is shouted out in the title of the video. So really appreciate the support of the uh, coin and currency precious metals stacking and collecting community as well as the YouTube community as a whole. Please like, comment, subscribe and check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines.